Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to create a new project in Azure DevOps. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll just navigate to the Azure portal where I will log into the portal and I will show you the complete steps to do this using Azure portal. Okay. Now let me go there. You can able to see I have already logged into Azure portal and what I'll do here, I will search for Azure DevOps. Okay. And click on the Azure DevOps organizations under the services, right? Click on that. And here as a next step, you need to click on my Azure DevOps organizations. And then what you can do here, you will see the list of existing project you have, right? You can able to see I have only one project here, which is Team TS Info, right? So to create a new project, what you can do, you can just click on the new project link here, okay? I'll just click on the new project. And here I will uh, say, I will say Azure Lessons Project. Okay. And here and you need to provide some description, right? I will say this is my critical project. And here either you can make it public or private, it's up to you. Okay. And here also in the advanced option, you can choose this version control okay and this work item process which are optional okay and you can just click on the create button to create the project right you can able to see the project has been created successfully right and if i will go here again you can able to see i have two projects now one is azure license and one is tm team rts info right here again you can click on the new project link to create another uh, project from here right so now if i will refresh this page as well i will see uh, the new project that we have created here right so you can able to see it here right so now i have two projects here so this way you can create a new project in azure devops right so that's it for today. I thought to quickly show you how you can create a brand new project in Azure DevOps, right? And these are the steps you need to follow to do that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you found this video a little helpful for you, kindly subscribe to our channel for further Azure tips and helpful Azure PowerShell commands and Azure CLI commands as well. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.